love it. It's To me, it's exciting. I've never driven an electric vehicle. So seeing the electric van, it's so different. I mean, you get in these new vehicles, they're roomier, they're comfortable. So when they get in there, they're very, their adrenaline is flowing, they're excited. They just can't wait to put it on the road. The way every feature of the van works is with a driver in mind that's delivering packages for Amazon. And that made decisions super fun. We knew exactly who we were building for. It's been a long journey for the two years. And we've gone through a lot of iterations, a lot of working with our drivers and our DSPs on what's the right aspect and features for the vehicle. And it's super exciting to see them out on the road and letting the public can kind of experience it themselves. My name is Darren, and I am a driver here at Amazon. My name is Mustafa Samiwala. I am a senior product manager. I've been at Amazon for six years. My name is Juan de Leon. I'm actually an owner, a DSP owner for Amazon. My name is Mark Kyler. I'm the director of vehicle engineering and design and execution here at Amazon, and I'm responsible for the Rivian program and our entire fleet of vehicles in last mile. So we started with the driver experience in mind. We knew what a day for one of our drivers looked like. We know how it starts, we know how they load, we know how they deliver packages, we know how they come back to station. And so we have a very accurate view of exactly who the customer for this van is. The process, yeah, they get to this point is, it's intense. We really want to start with our drivers and work backwards. And working backwards, thinking through what's right for them when it comes to safety, what's right for them when it comes to innovation and efficiency of the vehicle and then really work with our partner Rivian on making sure that the features and the way the van forms are factored in the design. One of the best parts about this was as we kind of asked those questions, we were able to go figure out how this van would operate in every environment. We went to cold chambers, we went to hot chambers, we went to full sun soaks, we went to snowy conditions, and we saw how the early prototypes of this van were performing with us testing the van and most importantly, DAs testing the van. We had drivers on the road a year and a half ago, in conditions that these vans were actually gonna operate, getting feedback on how they were working. And it was a continuous flow of questions and feedback from drivers. But we really think we hit the nail on the head here. We've been testing the final round of vans for a month now, and the feedback is so good. We know that drivers want them, right? So as we expand from here and we go to the next city, the next city, the next city, those are all new people that have never seen this before. and so. It's so exciting to have a really good van that we're taking out to the network. And as we build that, we tested it with through prototyping and a continued feedback from drivers, from engineers, on making sure the vehicle is right quality and ready for it to come out on the road like you see here behind us. Rolling up to the neighborhoods with these nice new vans is exciting. I think people are just literally watching as I get out or as I drive through, like in my training. When I was driving through the neighborhoods, people were just looking. They just stopped and looked like, oh my gosh, what is this? They are showstoppers. When you park the van, the door that's in the front, it opens by itself. Not the side doors, but there's a door that leads to the back cabin. It just slides open. Hey. The way that it works is that the routing teams at Amazon are kind of build out the day's route for our drivers. And when they receive their communication device that has that information, that driver shows up at their van for the day, it automatically pairs with the van, and that information is transferred into the communication of the van. Yeah, all of this is like a tablet. It's, it has literally everything from where you program the music, from where you can adjust the mirrors, safety. It just has everything you need right here in the system. Everything. Safety is our number one priority when it comes to delivery packages. These, these vehicles have sensors all over. So anytime they're getting close to a certain object, it'll vehicle will stop. That alone is priceless. My favorite safety features are anything related to driver visibility. So there's two that I like the most. One is the windshield. The ability to see out of this windshield, right, left, up, down, is like no other van in our fleet. They need to be able to see where they're going. They need to be able to see moving traffic. They need to see. And so that windshield is as big as we can get on a van so that we can see everywhere. There's a 360 stitch view camera inside the van that shows everything around the van. So that when the DA is backing or turning, they can see exactly what's next to them. It's one of the best 360 stitch view that I've ever seen on any vehicle. And it's exciting to have it here. My favorite part of the EV is the room. There's plenty of room in there to maneuver. It's a lot of space. The car, the van is compact, but it's a lot of space in here. Tons of it. Yeah, the van was built with a full range of our drivers in mind. So on the tall side, we wanted to make sure that any tall person could get in the van without having to duck, without having to worry about hitting their heads. And we were able to build handles and grips so that anybody could reach them. Oh, my favorite feature is actually the heated and air conditioning seats as well as the heated and air conditioned steering wheel. 
So these are amazing features that Amazon added onto this vehicle for us to stay cool and to stay warm in the winter. For electric vehicles, heating and cooling is more challenging than it is for a gas vehicle that's creating heat all the time. And so it was really important to us that we design a van that is warm enough on the coldest winter day here in Chicago or in the hottest summer day anywhere else in the country. So we obsessed over the way that system worked in a way that we knew drivers would always feel comfortable no matter what the climate was, but that the van could handle the amount of power that it takes to, to really keep a driver comfortable and that we didn't need to compromise either way. There's, it just has that much capability and that much thought into how it works. The Climate Pledge in many ways is able to bring companies together to solve really big problems. This problem did not seem solvable three years ago. Nobody would have imagined we'd be here today. This was a legacy product that'll be on the road for years. It'll change what people think of as a delivery van. Full EV, so it's 100% electric, and making sure that we're then eliminating the carbon that would come out of a traditional gas or diesel motor. And the fact is we built these to be able to be manufactured at scale. So we're able to put out the volumes. We're gonna have thousands of vans. By 2030, 100,000 vans. I remember when we announced the Climate Pledge, this was a big change, right, to decarbonize the network. This van shows that like, you make a big bet and you go after something big, you can deliver it in a fairly short period of time. And it was done in three years because this is such an important commitment that we did everything we could to bring it to the fleet as soon as possible.